Hey there, YouTube. Uh, so this is my first LEGO Worlds How To Anything video. Uh, I don't know if I'll do a ton of these because there's, you know, not a whole lot out there I, uh, I feel like I need to talk about. But this is an issue uh, that I personally have, like, experimented with and figured out. And uh, I heard somebody asking about it on the forums. So we are going to talk about how to do this. Uh, we are going to completely get rid of this town. Uh, now, where that, you know, where anybody who hasn't played LEGO Worlds before or hasn't tried this, uh, the problem with that arises is these uh, people and these vehicles spawn from these road plates here. Where, uh, and you'd think it might just be uh, as simple as removing these road plates, but sadly it is not. Vehicles will keep spawning and they will keep driving across these road plates. And say if you wanted to uh, turn this forest into a fantasy world, uh, yeah, no, we don't need cars driving around for that. So what we're going to do is we are going to completely get rid of all of the dirty, filthy, present-day people uh, in our idyllic fantasy world. Oh, yeah, no, that doesn't sound messed up. And uh, other parts of this process will probably sound pretty messed up, too. First and foremost, we got to do all the quests in this town. I know, but it doesn't let you delete quest givers. And the only way around that is is to do their stuff for him. So uh, yeah, let's burn through all that real quick. And now you get to stop existing. Yeah. See? This is the nightmare we're talking about. I take you to a police officer when I could just make you one. That is the kind of power I have. <laughs> and then I take it away. Yeah, nope, yeah, nope. That's a hole in forever. That's just what you want to see in your town. <laughs> all right. So, near as I can tell, that is all the, uh, Quest giver, quest givers. Wait, no, constable. What you got for me, boss? Need me to murder somebody? Yeah, that figures. Everybody gets to be on fire. What? What is? What is happening? Where did all of these people come from? That was a, a slightly more horrifying way to do what I'm getting at, but sure. Why not? That's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. All right. There's that. So, now that we've... Uh, let's move on to something that feels a little bit less murdery for getting rid of this town. Uh, all right. Now we're getting rid of all of the road plates. All right. Pretty sure that's all the road plates.
Yep, seems like it. Uh, I am working with a pretty small chunk of town here just for speed and efficiency. I don't want to waste your guys' time so you can get back to building. All right. So let's move on to the next step, which is adding a bunch of bricks to this so that the cars no longer have any place to spawn. Now, I've done a little bit of uh, experimenting with this. You don't want to build on top of the plates, like here. That won't fix the problem. They'll still keep spawning. You want to build a little bit down into the terrain, like about a third of the, uh, the maximum size of bricks you can add, which is, in fact, the like exact same width of uh, the street plates. Uh, so if you're trying to be super surgical about this and uh, preserve all the buildings and whatnot, you can just build right down the streets um, without harming any of the buildings. Say if you want to empty out a town for a zombie apocalypse type thing, you know, you do you. But for something like this that I'm not going to be using whatsoever, I'm going to be a little bit sloppy because it's a little bit faster that way. And I'm back. It is worth noting that as I filled in the very last road plate, my game crashed. Uh, not like fatal error, blue screen, you know, anything crashed. The game just shut itself down and I just booted it back up. So, we've got... Oh, wait, nope, we missed some road plates over here. Better take care of that. Okay, so we've got all that filled in. Now let's go through and flatten everything uh, and make sure it worked. So, as you can see, we've still got a, a couple little people here, but those could just be uh, quest givers we missed, or, uh, you know, NPCs just kind of hanging out in buildings. Uh, they are not, however, yep, because he just, uh, boop, disappeared. Uh, they are not, however, pathing NPCs going along the roads uh, for this place. So, you can see no more cars, no more, no more people walking, no more anything like that. Just a bunch of props. So, if you want to get rid of all the cars and all the people, yep, that's one last quest giver. But you know what? You know what, dude? You know what? I'm gonna leave you here. And I want you to tell all your little friends about me. I want you to tell them what happened. I want you to tell them how I stripped the land and salted the earth so nothing would ever exist here again. Or something like that. Man, I don't even know. So, yeah. That is how you get rid of a, uh, a Lego World's town. Now, it is worth saying, yes, my game did crash while I did this. As far as I can see, that has not had any negative effects on anything else. But it is worth saying that the one other world I did this on, which was a big fantasy world I was working on, developed some weird errors months later. Like when they came out with the Halloween update, uh, there were some weird things with like terrain uh, changing from how the world used to be. Uh, I don't imagine that's related to, uh, to getting rid of the town there, but I don't know. Tiny caveat. I would say it's less risk than like going into your game files and editing stuff there. So yeah, no, that's how you get rid of a city in Lego worlds so that you can have whatever you want instead there. Uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, I don't know if I'll post a lot more LEGO World stuff, but I might. I've got a cyberpunk world I'm working on. I've got, like, uh, my own manor house I'm working on. Good stuff. I'll talk to you guys later.